Hey guys, welcome back to Gamers Academy. I'm here with my boy Jorginho and we show you the best tips and tricks in FIFA 20. What's the topic of today? Topic of today, goal scoring inside the penalty area, what kind of shot you're gonna use and how to score endless goals. So we're happy that Lucas is gonna introduce us into his secrets. So the first variation to score a goal inside the penalty area is the new post shot. Basically it's the most effective one in FIFA 20 and I think the easiest way. Yes, you just see it like Lucas sees the attempt and goes for the goal and maybe Lucas, what do you think we go in a instant review? Yeah, and try let's to take a closer look on that one. So at first I try to get in a good position with one of my two strikers. I see Neymar and Neymar has five stars weak foot, so I know I can shoot with both feet equally. Then when you see it on another angle, Neuer is almost covering the whole goal especially the near post, but in FIFA 20 it's possible to score a goal um, in this position, normally with two or three bars and when, it's in, when I come to this situation, I prepare for celebrating my goal. So let's take a look on the second variation, it's the finesse shot, it's also a very effective move, here with Kylian Mbappé, oh he went for the goal and just hit the far post. I think this was a great example, what yes. do you think, Lucas? Let's take a closer look on that one. This situation is almost similar to the last one. This time I try to get the ball to one of my two strikers. Then I full ball Tang, and now comes the twist. I see, okay, the goalkeeper and the second defender is covering uh, the near post. So I try to get it with a finesse shot to the second post. And there's the goal. Perfect. So. What do you think? How many bars you should use? Normally two or three bars, this time three bars. I'm 60 meters away from the goal. Three bars would be the perfect choice. Next option, one touch scoring. So you try <laughs> what we just saw. You try to just do a quick pass or also a double X pass. So it's a little lifted up. So I think also the shooting power increases. Yeah, and maybe course. Lucas, if you can show us in the instant replay how it actually works and what you think you have to keep in mind for it. Would be a pleasure. This time I analyze the situation and I see um, my two strikers are defended very closely, so I take the option to do it with a one-touch shot. And you see, it's way easier to do this with a volley and a double X pass. So guys, thanks for watching. I think these were the basics about goal scoring inside the penalty area. Thank you, Lucas. You showed us very nice tips and also maybe your secrets, how you score endless goals. If you want more information, we also have a skill book on our website. Just go for it and reach the next level. Stay tuned. See you soon.